Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the ill blur, Maddie, 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 Maddie. It's the illest blur in the land. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the ill blur, Maddie, Maddie. Welcome back to ill blur, Maddie. What is going on, Legends? Thank you so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And also, if you're new to the channel, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Let's get right into it today, guys. Woo-wee! Today, we're going to talk about it. one of the most highly anticipated sequels from the animated Spider-Man universe. Ashley is going to actually be surprising news. Let's talk about it. So, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has some last-minute changes, and why? So, the reason for this is because pretty much Laura Field and also Chris Miller, both of these writers are not your usual type of writers when it comes to developing an animated film. Uh, They tend to work around the film, kind of like throwing out ideas that don't necessarily appeal to a movie, and then they kind of come together and make better ideas to tweak the film as much as they can. I really respect that. I've never seen that type of style for like, uh, actual movie which is pretty unorthodox but i guess i can get where they're coming from because things do change uh also the actor that plays uh pretty much spider-man 2099 uh oscar isaac has confirmed that they want to add more development to the actual character of his character. So I, I really like that they kind of want to add more layers to his character. Because I feel like with him, seeing him in the trailers, I'm like, he's definitely going to be a main villain in this second Spider-Man film that was the sequel to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So uh, good to hear that that's kind of the reason why. And also them uh, pretty much their writing style being unorthodox. The next reason is to... Uh, which makes the most sense. They want to make sure that this film has a heart to it. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that it appeals to the audience. And that's a great way to go about it. They want to make sure they're making the best film ever. And I know that they're going to take a risk with this because also the visual effect artists, they've worked on five worlds for this movie. Props to the visual effects artists. Thank you, guys. We we really want to thank you, too, because they have put their heart and soul into this film as much as the writers and not just the director either. And I think that's a good thing, too, because they mentioned that they wanted to do something above and beyond where it's a bit different from the first Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, the first animated sequel. And I think that's a great way to go about it, to explore different animation styles, to like appeal. And I hopefully this works out for them. I mean, I'm excited to see the film. I, I mean, it's great to hear this. Now, let's talk about the last reason. And the last reason, um, it, it makes sense too, because be honest, they haven't really shown this character. There is a new character that will be introduced into this next sequel of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Tom Holland has been confirmed to be in this movie. So it makes sense. He's a new character. Maybe they want to add his story to it as well to make it feel a a complete story where it's not just Miles Morales and Spider-Man 2099 and not to mention Spider-Gwen as well. So... It's good to see that they want to go this direction where they're adding some more character to the new introduced character, which may be a main character or a side character. Um, But it's good to hear that maybe this is the other reason, too, why it's last minute changes, because now they're including him in this actual animated film. Um, And I think it's, it's, it's definitely high standards for this film. Definitely high standards for this film. The first film, Spider-Man uh, Into the Spider-Verse, did extremely well in the box office. Probably the highest animated film that Sony's ever produced uh, with association with Marvel. I can't forget that. 
Um, and they they just want to make sure that the sequel lives up to the hype because after all, this is a highly anticipated sequel. Um, and they're trying to make sure they make the best picture yet. But you guys tell me in the comments, are you surprised that the film is, you know, getting last minute production, meaning just, you know, writing changes, visual effects changes to some degree? Um, and are you surprised that Tom Holland will be in the second Spider-Man movie across the Spider-Verse? You tell me in the comments, guys, your boy, Ill Blurmatic, guys. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. And also, it's a blur living in the world, guys. And so next time, guys, have a wonderful Monday or Tuesday, wherever you at, guys. <laughs> Thank, 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 thank you for the support now, the support now.